Uh, my name is Philippa Lamphy and I'm the tower captain of St Andrew's Church and I'm in charge of the bells and the clock. The bells were installed in the tower in 1886 together with the clock which was given by Mrs Kent Hughes in memory of her husband. There are six bells in the tower. The lightest bell, the treble, weighs 500 weight and the tenor bell, the heaviest weighs just over 1,200 weight. The bells are rung by means of rope and wheel from the ringing chamber, which makes it possible for ringers to vary the rate in which the bells are rung. They're rung for um, beginning of services, and for weddings, and for any special occasions. The six bells in St Andrew's Tower were supplied by the well-known bell foundry of Mears and Stanbank of Whitechapel, London. The clock itself is of interest, as it is, as far as I know, the only J.W. Benson made clock in South Australia. It occupies a chamber immediately below the bells and has two faces, one facing east and the other south. It strikes both the hours and the quarters from the first, third and tenor bells. It is the task of the tower captain to wind up the three weights once a week with the help of some parish members. In 2004, we completed some significant repairs to the clock. The two external clock faces and their hands were removed, repaired and repainted. The background of each face was painted matte black and the numbers and hands were covered with gold leafing. From the pictures on this film, you can see the greatly improved condition of the faces. In addition to this external work, some worn parts of the internal mechanism joining the clock to the hands was carried out. This has greatly improved the accuracy of the clock and also taken some slack out of the movement of the hands which had developed over the recent years. The cost of this work was met by a general appeal to the Walkerville community and included some very generous donations. <laughs>